Jarvis is coming to life, a new JavaScript-based ransomware and Wi-Fi for the smart home. These are today's bits. We've all seen Jarvis in action as he worked with Iron Man and helped manage his life, doing a range of things like controlling access to restricted areas or being a full-blown lab assistant, Jarvis, in theory, seems to be a valuable piece of technology. Unfortunately for us though, Jarvis is just a fictional piece of technology, at least for the common person. But of course, if you're a multi-billionaire like Mark Zuckerberg, fictional technology like this can come to life, which is exactly what he's planning to do. In a Facebook post, Mark said that he will be working on a simple AI that will learn as he teaches it. Simple things like controlling the temperature to start off with, but he hopes to grow it into a full-blown smart home manager. And then of course, world domination. You can check out a link to the full text in the description, but I think it's worthy to note here that while reading the comments, I did notice the verified account of Arnold Schwarzenegger offering his services to be the voice of the new system. You know, because Arnold's voice coming from a brand new AI that will be controlling other devices and learning as it goes has absolutely no irony built in it at all. Speaking of scary shit, a new ransomware has popped up on the dark web that runs off of JavaScript, and the software is being sold with only the requirement of the buyer giving a small portion of the ransom profits to the creator. If you don't know what ransomware is, well, it basically hijacks all of your data, encrypts the hell out of it, and forces you into paying its creator to get it back. Usually, if payment is not received in a predetermined amount of time, it destroys everything you have. So it's basically evil as from what I've found, the user still needs to download and run a file in order for it to work. So really, it's not much more threatening than a standard virus because you still have to make the same dumb mistake to get infected. What is a little crazy is how widely it's becoming available to just about anybody who knows how to crawl around in the back alleys of the interwebs. Wi-Fi for smart home devices. It can be good, but it does have its drawbacks. For example, it consumes a lot of power and Wi-Fi has a bit of trouble passing through walls. This is why positioning your router in the perfect spot inside your home is crucial unless you have a small place or a Wi-Fi extender. Well, a new Wi-Fi is in town and it's called Wi-Fi Halo. Running on a much lower frequency of 900 megahertz, it claims to be able to get twice the range of normal Wi-Fi and be able to pass through walls easier. The only catch here is the speed. I don't have any numbers for you right now, but the idea of Wi-Fi Halo is to transmit small amounts of data to smart home devices, such as thermostats, doorbells, and vibrating beds, while using an equally small amount of power. So it's not gonna help you Netflix and chill in the far corners of your house anytime soon, but it may end up allowing an entire smart house to be connected to one device without the need of any extenders. Speaking of Netflix, Volvo released a brand new concept video showcasing a massive video player in the front seat of a vehicle. The idea behind it is that once everyone starts using self-driving cars, they're gonna wanna start watching more videos on the road. This is great and everything, except I refuse to embrace the self-driving vehicle fad because it has one major flaw, they don't speed. That's it for today. Follow me on Twitter at underscore bite my bits. Like and subscribe to the video below and thank you for watching.